Welcome to this introductory video on vibrations of structures. As you know structural elements, however solid or rigid they appear are actually flexible which reveals itself under loading and in particular dynamic loading. As you know under dynamic loading, the response of a structure is different at different frequencies. So, it is very important to understand the dynamic behavior or vibrational behavior of a structure under dynamic loads. Now, in uh, when we have dynamic loading, uh, a, a structure can be modeled, has to be modeled under dynamic loading and the first approximate uh, approximation is a discrete modeling of a uh, 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 continuous structure. So, for example, if you look at this uh, beam, then we all know that this might be modeled like a discrete system of this form. Now, here we have considered that the vibration is in this plane and so we model a simple harmonic oscillator with the same degree of freedom in the physical space. But then more uncomfortable things follow if you consider a structure of this type. Now, how do you discretize this in the physical space? Moreover, in certain applications, you may need to find out let us say the stresses at let us say this section. Now, these discrete models do not allow you to do these uh, calculations. So, it is somewhat simpler in a number of applications to have the continuous model, which means that model the system by a partial differential equation rather than by an ordinary differential equation and later on discretize it based on certain principles. So, in this course, we are going to discuss these issues and we are going to see how this discretization is actually carried out not just not may not be in the physical space of the thing, but in a certain mathematical space. This will uh, this in this course we are going to discuss about strings, beams, uh, bars and plates, which will give you a foothold on analyzing structures, which are made of such simple components. In uh, more advanced courses, you can take up uh, more complicated structures, uh, where like membranes or very thin shell structures. This course will also help you in understanding the approximate methods that are used in analysis of structures, so that you can realize their applicability in uh, analyzing more complicated structures using for example, uh, more uh, advanced numerical techniques like finite element methods. So, in this course, we are going to discuss these basic elementary uh, uh, structural elements, which will allow you uh, to understand the dynamics of structures in a more uh, unified manner. So, I welcome you all to join me in this course. Thank you.